Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining. I'm Jamal Arif and I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. In this session, we will talk about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Registry Service. It's a level 200 course. This is our safe harbor statement. All right, so the major objectives of this session is to just describe the OCIR registry service and also uh, how you can manage uh, with the registry service itself, creating repos, uh, crea creating public and private repositories, uh, cre uploading your images, uh, and how it is, uh, how you can use those images within a Kubernetes cluster as well. All right, so the OCIR registry service is an Oracle managed registry that enables you to simplify your development to production workflow. The registry makes it easy for you as a developer to uh, store and share and manage development artifacts like Docker images and the underlying highly, highly available and scalable architecture of OCI uh, really ensures that you can reliably deploy your applications without any worry about the operational issues or even scaling your underlying infrastructure. Within the registry service, you can use it as a private Docker registry for internal use, uh, pushing and pulling Docker images to and from the registry using the standard Docker v2 API and the standard Docker command line interface. You can also use the registry as a public Docker registry, enabling any user with internet access and knowledge of the appropriate URL to pull images from public repositories in OCI. The OCI registry is integrated with IAM. So basically it provides an easy authentication with native OCI identity. So before we create uh, repositories in the OCI registry service, uh, there are a couple of uh, things that the user needs to have. So just like I talked earlier that OCIR is integrated with the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Identity Service. So you need to have specific permissions for individual users to manage the OCI registry. So the first, uh, for, uh, for instance, over here, there are given a couple of examples. So in the first example, uh, the uh, example, the this policy statement says that allow group uh, Acme viewers to inspect repos in tenancy. So the reason uh, when we mention inspect, that means that this only allows all the users in group Acme viewers to list all the repositories in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Registry. So they cannot create or uh, delete repositories. They can only list all the repositories in the OCI registry. If you want to give uh, completely open, you can say all the, uh, the one who can actually do basically anything with the repos within the tenancy, then you can use the second statement, which says that allow group ACME managers to manage repositories in tenancy. So in this case, the ACME managers group, all the users in, the, in that group are able to uh, create repositories, delete repositories, they, they can pull an image, push an image, basically create pi private or public repositories. They, are, they can completely manage the repositories in your tenancy. Within the IAM, you can also specifically allow users to only look at repositories which have certain uh, names or if you want to allow certain repositories to be inspected. So you can go a bit deeper uh, into that as well. Uh, reason being that since it is integrated with the identity service, so you can use uh, policy infrastructure uh, and, and really provide granular access to your users using it within the registry service itself. One thing to note over here is that uh, the repos uh, uh, is a tenancy level resource. So you need to provide uh, like add all, all of these policies in the root compartment of your tenancy. So how do you create a, a repository within the registry service? So they can you can create a private or public uh, repositories. All you need to go is uh, that you navigate yourself uh, to the registry service itself and when you're creating a registry it just asks you a repository name uh, and a pub and whether it's that repositories is public or private 
it's also a regional service so you can create a repository in all the different regions of OCI uh, and it would ask you whether it's a private or a public repository once the repository is created then you can use uh, like standard docker v2 apis or cli to push or pull images to the oci the first step is that you create an authentication token for your user because that's how you are using going to uh, basically uh, login into the uh, docker v2 API, uh, uh, registry service so the first step is that you once you have created the authentication token you go ahead and just log in by providing the log uh, command docker login and the region code dot ocir dot io the region codes are all all of them are mentioned over here it asks you the tenancy name as a username and then not, and you also need to provide the authentication token which is associated with your user once you have done uh, like once you have added and uh, you're logged into the ocir from there onwards it's just like regular uh, commands to basically push and pull your uh, images to the repository you can tag your image uh, with a with a command that is provided over here and then just push your image uh, with the docker push command to the to any of the regions so if it's an uh, ashburn region you can do iid.ocir.io and with your tenancy and the image name and similarly you can also do uh, use the pull commands to pull your images from the from the region as well this just gives you a snapshot of all the uh, details within the console so you can see that when you launch when you uh, push pu uh, when you like push an image to the registry service uh, it gives you a list of all the image layers which are which are associated to that image so all of these layers are then joined together to form that final image that you have but it gives you the detail of all the layers that are combined to create that image for you within the console it also gives you uh, the options of deleting that image or or uh, copying a pull command which you can then use to you know directly pull that image on your uh, in on your host you, the registry service is also integrated with the kubernetes uh, cluster uh, with the kubernetes service so you can directly pull images from the registry into your kubernetes deployments uh, the complete steps are provided in the documentation but just to give you a high level overview uh, what you can do is that within your kubernetes deployment you can create a docker registry secret which basically contains your credentials to access your registry service so the credentials are again the same your username and uh, password your tenancy and username and then your authentication uh, token for your registry service once you have created that secret within your kubernetes you can then utilize that secret to pull images from your uh, kubernetes from the registry service within your kubernetes uh, 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 infrastructure within your kubernetes deployment so the command is given over here you can uh, first create a secret and then use that uh, to uh, uh, pull the images as well so this actually completes our uh, our, our registry uh, service uh, session and once again thank you for joining and see you next time